If you want to install PID Toolbox, there are three versions right now that you can install and two of them are paid options and one of them is a free option. So you want to go to Patreon. I'm not using the pro version, I'm just using the basic version from his Patreon and that is more than adequate to do the things I needed to do. I might upgrade in the future if it's something I need. You go to his Patreon and you go download PID Toolbox you can select the version that you need. So if you don't want to pay and just want the free version, you go to the GitHub page here and you get the latest version of that is 0.65. It's a bit of an older version. It's not being maintained anymore, I think. But anyways, it's working fine enough for now. Nevertheless, you just pick one here. And if you are using Windows like I am here, you're going to pick the Windows version here and you're going to download it. After that, you're going to go in and you're going to place it somewhere on your computer that isn't the downloads folder. I have a documents folder here where I have pit toolbox and you want to first head off into the installer and you want to install it. When I click yes and then you, we are just going to wait. This is the installer and here this is Brian White that is making it. Click next uh, and select where you want to place the install. We don't need this shortcut to desktop because we are not going to use it and then click next again. It will also install MATLAB that is needed for pit toolbox. Now, this was really fast. I have had it installed before and I just reinstalled it. Then it's not an issue, it's really quick. If you don't have it installed it before, it might take a bit of a time. It's a 1.2 gigabyte download. So it will take a bit of time and also time to install it as well. But once it says installation complete, you can click, click close. So you don't want to open it from a start menu, but instead you want to head into the folder that you downloaded and going to main. And inside main here, you want to open the pit toolbox, the executable files from here, because that is the one we are going to use. It does take a bit of time to open up. This is not the fastest PC in the world either, so it might be faster on your PC, of course. Once it is open, it is all set up and it is actually ready to use. Now you can click the open file. You can find a black box lock and you can click open. Now I have a selection of these five and I can select all of them or I can select individual just by holding control. When I hit OK, it will import them into Pit Toolbox and I will be ready to analyze the data from here. This is an older file, so this is not running the latest uh, beta flight, but it will still analyze it and I can click the Step Response tool and click Run. And I'll get the curves here for the step response for this drone. That is how you install and open a black box lock in Pit Toolbox. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Bye.